Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well on this fantastic Sunday afternoon in the evening or whatever time it happens to be in your little corner of the world. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great week. Um, yeah. We're back again. Made it to another um, so I I ran a poll um, for what game you all wanted to see me play and the results kind of surprised me a little bit um, I was expecting it to be closer it was not it was not close <laughs> Uh, Warframe, so the two options were Subnautica or Warframe, and Warframe kind of ran away with it, again, I was not expecting. Um, I guess maybe the prospect of seeing someone familiar with the game, you know, play through it, play through like the early stages of it, might be interesting. So... Yeah, Warframe won by a lot. It was something like 80 to 20 percent. Um, eight or nine votes, something like that. Um, yeah, so that's that. That'll be what I end up doing. Uh, we'll we'll figure out how I'm gonna do that. Um, obviously, much faster paced game, but a much better optimized game so I don't know it'll be interesting to see how it um, streams so I will get to that uh, I recently deleted Warframe simply because my friends kept begging me to play it and it annoyed me so much I got rid of it um, I'm such a good friend yeah I I have a lot of fun playing it with uh, my friends every now and again. Um, I'd say lately I, I play more by myself, but uh, I don't know. The thing about Warframe is it doesn't have like a true end game, like most MMOs should. Um, so it's kind of like. Once you get to that point, you, you kind of decide what you want the end game to be. Um, and for me, it was just like about doing as much of the high level content as possible solo. Um, so, it sucks because I wanted, sort of wanted to play it. Uh, but what's a friendship without annoying one another? Yeah, I mean... There goes the fun, right? I you can't... You can't mess around with your friends every now and again. Man. What's the point? <laughs> um... Yeah, so I don't, I don't really have any grand plans for the stream, as usual. <laughs> um... I was thinking about uh, maybe trying to do something with that underwater monument I found. Though I don't really know what the best way to tackle those are. I probably should have looked that up beforehand. <laughs> so, um, go ahead and swap the audio over. And uh, we will swap the game. So, before we get started, though, has anyone ever gotten this on the home screen? I know, like, is this intentional? Um, I, I mean, like, I would assume it's intentional, but I, obviously it's moving so fast that I can't read it. You broke it? I didn't do anything. I mean, yeah, I can admit. There's the possibility that 
I broke it, but it was doing it when I booted it, booted it up, so I don't, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe someone can clarify for me about that. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, welcome in, Bob the Builder. You're doing well, my friend. Hope you're having a good day. Uh. I imagine I didn't empty my inventory beforehand. Knowing me. Oh, I did. Look at that. Wow. Truly ahead of the curve. Truly a Minecraft prof uh, professional at work. Am I right? I wanted to cook a few more potatoes, I think. Alright, I already have some. Okay, so I don't really know what I want to do the stream. I was thinking, um, I mean, we try for netherite again, right? That's what we typically do. I I just don't know. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll have to. I, I've had no luck finding any recently, so... Um, armor's not looking too great. My shield isn't looking too great either. I will carry a spare. In the event that it breaks. Well, you can't hear that. It's really coming down outside. The rain. Gas prowling around. Typical gas behavior. And it's the head trauma staircase makes its return. If I could, like, you know, bring it up a floor, bring it down a floor, I would, but. Obviously, there's the constant threat of our uh, old friend, a lava. I was thinking I might just, like, mine a bit. Uh, because I don't... I guess I kind of did try a bit. A little bit. Cam says hello. Welcome in, Cam. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Glad you could make it to another stream. Glad to have you here. Hope you had a good week. Hope things are going well. Uh, at the moment, I am trying to decide where I want to mine. Maybe we... Maybe we can find some other uh, or I uh, yeah, ancient debris. Uh. Yeah, well, maybe I maybe I go back a little bit.
I have to watch two streams. Do a multi stream drifting. Let's do a So, I just thought of this. As far as like uh, tool durability durability is concerned, does it matter um, what uh, block you're destroying? Like for instance, if you break a block of obsidian, does it count the same as like blocking a, a, a block of netherite? Towards durability, or not another way, not another way. Yeah. So like, one block of another rack, does it count the same as one block of obsidian, or is there some like really variable? striking out. Okay. Want to jump in that? So, uh, in other news, uh, Meta, how's the the video editing going? I feel like I ask you this every time, but I know you're working on a new project. Hey, sorry, my brother shouted for me. They were shooting stars. Yo. I, I mean, I'd say it's a pretty good reason to have to leave, you know? No worries. Um. Yeah, I haven't really had any luck finding ancient debris. I know uh, there's something with like enabling chunk orders that allows you to see, but I don't know. I kind of feel like that's cheating a little bit. Um, I'm working on a smaller video, but I didn't like how I wrote the script, so I'm just redoing the whole thing. Okay. Uh, I there's a llama up there. A drown down there. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen a drown. Uh. Ooh, you know what I should have done? I'll take it back. Alright. Camping my nether portal. That's pretty low. Pretty low, man. <laughs> Alright, let's take it back. I kind of want to go to one of the front of the portals out here. Uh, it's a very straightforward project, so it should only take me a week, uh, hopefully, to have it done. Well, that's good. At least you have, like, a solid timetable for it, right? Uh, I've been sort of taking a break from Minecraft, I've been playing it for 10 plus years and it sort of gets hard to stay interested in, though I will never stop watching for these streams. Yeah, I, I get that, you know, like when burnout hits, um, 
it uh it, it hits right so i completely understand um i've you know admittedly i've been kind of feeling this uh s similarly um which is why i have even you know, considered playing another game to begin with um I think it would not only would it be nice to just have some variety, um, it'd be good, it'd be nice for me to have some variety. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I ever like, no, I didn't. I just broke a giant leather color. I don't know why, but when burnout hits, it hits hard for me. Um, I'll get surrounded by nostalgia, making me want to play it. When I do, it doesn't feel the same. Just... Um. Doesn't feel the same. I just watch YouTube to pass the time or TikTok. Yeah, I mean, typically when I find myself in a place where it's like I don't really know what I want to do, I I try to I try to learn a little bit. Like I try to experiment um, with stuff. You know, if there's, like, a particular topic that I don't know a whole lot about, or, you know, even a game, right? Um, so, for me, um, let me think of a good example. I've done this a few times, but there's this game called uh, Escape from Tarkov, and it's it's pretty, like... I hesitate to use the word hardcore because I think it's a little cringy, but um, but like I didn't know anything about the game, and so I went out of my way to you know start watching people play it. Yeah, like it's a game that I knew I would never play it personally, but. I enjoyed watching other people play it, if that makes sense. Um, by the way, a little off topic, but if you're looking for games to play other than Minecraft, I recommend Dead by Daylight. Uh, it's fun and brutal and very scary. Yeah, I played DVD for a little bit uh, with some of my friends. Um, I get the appeal. It's just not really my thing, personally. Like, I, I completely understand why people like it. And, um, it can be very fun, but it can also be very aggravating. Uh, basically, you go and get loot out, so it, um, so on and on and get better stuff. If you die, then you lose everything. Yeah. Yeah, I watched a few people play it, and it, um, it looked... I don't know what, what word I would use for it. It's it's very realistic, though, I guess, in a lot of ways. Um, like, the fact that what kind of armor you're wearing impacts your, like, combat effectiveness, I guess. Now, what is interesting to me is that it's, like, one of the only games 
I've seen where the ammo that you're using matters more than the firearm. It's typically, it's the other way around. At least with a lot of shooters. I remember coming out here. Big Richard. Bridge time. Bridge time. Let's go, bro. Hope you're doing well. Hope you, you're having a good weekend, you know? Taking a bit of a break from, uh, from work. Uh, is it just me or does chocolate give you a headache? Um, yeah, I, I think if you're dehydrated enough, I imagine it can give you a headache. Uh, what's the goal for today in block land? <laughs> um, as per usual, I don't really know that I have an objective. The skeleton here trying to stay cool. I get it. So I don't appreciate having arrows fired at me. Here, I wanted to go check out this, um underwater monument that I had found a while ago. Uh, problem being, I don't really know what the best way to tackle it is. So I just have a ton of netherrack. Could have thrown this away. We need some doors, I think. In the event that we go underwater. Yeah, so how you been, Rich? Anything new? Anything interesting going on with you? Ice or egg chocolate, they give me headaches. I mean, it could also be something in the chocolate that's causing it. I'm... Admittedly, I don't eat a whole lot of sweet stuff anymore. Um... Even see. Uh, also, not much new, honestly. Saw TMNT yesterday. Very fun movie. Do recommend. Sweet. Um, yeah, I saw a few trailers for it. It looked pretty cool. What is TMNT? Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The uh, movie that came out pretty recently. Oh, this is like a, another drown village. TMNT really on the up and up again with all the collabs and new media coming out. Yeah, they've it really is getting around. Now you mentioned it. I don't see any chests. Uh, 
Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, the only cartoon movie I want to watch is Spider-Man, though. Spider, uh, Spider-Verse. Yeah, those movies are really good. Um, so I have only seen the first one. That's just like deal damage. A lot of these things. Very weird. God. to run away to wildly annoying huh don't go near an ocean monument unless you're fully geared okay that doesn't seem too bad Uh, what about you, Fridge? I feel like we don't really ask much about what you like. Uh, what film am I excited for? Um. It's a good question. I, admittedly, I don't watch a whole lot of, like, new movies. Um, for a while, I was going through, like, a back catalog of stuff that um, I had meant to watch. So I watched uh, yeah, I watched this movie called Fight Club. I watched uh, I watched like a few movies with Brad Pitt in it for some reason. Not that I like plan on it. Um, yeah, I watched uh Troy, I watched Fight Club, like I said, I watched Shawshank Redemption, all good movies. Um, oh, wow, I see you, I didn't use you. You'll love World War Z. Yeah, I... I had some friends see that movie, I believe, when it came out. Um... I don't think what, like, the last zombie themed movie I saw was. I haven't seen one in a while. I don't know, I lived through, like, the whole zombie arc where, like, every IP had to be zombie-related, so... 
Um, I'm just kind of over it a little bit. Like, there's no, for me, there's only, like, so many things that you can do to reinvent, like, zombies. Um, like, I watched the, yeah, I, like, I watched The Walking Dead. Um, you know, however many seasons that was. Um, not all of it, to be fair. I, I watched up to... God, I don't even know, to be honest. What are you talking Rich, what are you talking about? I don't even know if I can repeat that. Uh, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. I... It's just, you know, like... Um, I sort of stopped watching it, it just got boring, felt repetitive. Yeah, that's... Pretty much my sentiment. The... This is just kind of issue, my issue with, um, a lot of television series. Is that the way they normally worked um, is that they'd have like a killer first couple episodes that kind of introduce what the story is going to be for that particular season and then they have a good finale and then there's just nothing in the middle and it's just like it's just yeah uh, they find a base that gets overrun, uh, they run, they suffer, they find a new base, and over and over. But yeah, pretty much. I feel like that's just kind of the zombie genre in general, to be honest. You know? It's like, the zombies are a threat until they're not, and then, you know, the writers have to try and introduce some external threat to then make the zombies a threat again um so usually the way they do that is by you know introducing some character that causes these issues or you know what have you uh but on the topic of writing, I actually made a lot of progress this week writing, which is nice. I am maybe... Oh, jeez. Watch where you step. I have no call. Uh, how's the book coming along? I am almost done. So I have been almost done for a while. So. I mean, I say almost, but like... To most people, it would probably be like, nah, you're, you're not almost done. Um, so I've, I've written, uh, 420 pages at the moment. Um, and over the past week, I managed to write six. It's pretty good. I try to average like a page a day and I just haven't been able to do it over the last few months because of um, the type of work I've been doing outside of streaming. Um, it's been a lot of learning new things and meeting new people. Um, I just haven't had a ton of time to write. A lot of the time, you know, um, I gotta I gotta sit down and kind of be in that mindset. Um, and I do spend a lot of time working on my stream as well, so. Um, you know, kind of, 
I kind of have to pick between, you know, two of my children, basically. Which is never easy. Um. Uh, am I employed? Yes, I am employed. Uh, which is why I can afford to have a lot of stuff done for my book that I need to. Yeah, I mean, like for me, I make enough, you know, I make enough for my, what I want, what I need. Like, I don't, obviously I don't make any money from my stream. Um, it's more just like something I do. Uh... I'm trying to think of, like, how I could explain it. Um... I don't make money from streaming yet. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, one of these days, that changes. But... Um... Yeah, I'm not... Holding my breath. Right. <clears throat> Sorry, we enjoying the money with Lala. Yeah. I'd much rather be making money from my books, I'll be honest. I, I just... I don't know. Like, taking donations from, me, from people has never really sat right with me, which is part of the reason why... I don't have, like, a donation link or anything, it's just, I don't know, I don't feel like what I'm doing here is enough, right? At least with my book, or my books, it's like, you buy them, there's a, you know, there's equivalent exchange there, right? Like, you're getting an experience for what you purchase. Uh, you need to apply for monetization and put an ads in to make money. Yeah, so the way YouTube works, and I would love to be monetized. That That is the goal, I would say. But So in order to be monetized on YouTube, you have to meet two qualifiers, essentially. Like, to even be allowed to submit an application. Um, you have to A, have 500 subscribers minimum, and B, over the course of 365 days, so a year, you have to reach, like, 3,000 public watch hours or something, meaning that, um, the viewership of all of my content has to meet, um, like, 2,000 hours within a year, which is, or it might even be 3,000, I don't remember the specific number, I know it's big, and it's a lot, and I doubt I'm going to meet it, at least this year, um, is a lot of my, oh, well, <laughs> this kind of spawned in front of me, like, but yeah, so a lot of my content's like more short form. Obviously, I have the streams, but um, the majority of my viewership is through short form content. Uh, I mean, you have 142,000 views on your channel, so you are making progress. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I, honestly, when you put it that way, that is, that is a pretty, pretty big number, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty big. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, like, how close I am to meeting that goal. I think what I would need to do is, if I never go up, um, have some longer form video that did well enough to where, um, People watch through it, and 
you get subscriptions from it. Like, I think the problem is the, the way that I have my channel structured doesn't really lend itself particularly well to those goals, right? Like, the subscriptions are fine. 500, I don't think, is too many to ask for. Um, I don't have any issue with that. Um, yeah, it's, it's really just, like, the public watch hours for me. I think that's quite a bit to ask for. Um. Uh. I mean, once you're comfortable and are constantly gaining hundreds of views and are comfortable, you can quit your job to stream full time. But yeah. I really enjoy my job, though. That's the thing. Like, a lot of people I understand hate what they do. Like, they don't like their job, which is why they try to go to that direction. But I actually really enjoy my job. Um,. And I'm very grateful to be in the position that I'm in as far as uh, what I do. Because it's, it's a job that a lot of people want to do. And it's very difficult to get into um, the industry, typically. You are rare, one rare human liking a regular job. Yeah, I mean... I don't know if I'd say it's a regular job, to be honest. But I think that's part of it. It's like... Um... At least when... You know... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Update on the tunnels ends. I... I did this. I, I don't remember if you're here for this or not, but... Yeah. So now they can't get up here. And bother me. He could, uh... He could growl all he wants. He's not gonna get up. Right? Um, I was thinking maybe we just... Build a bit. Figure out what I want to do. So... Um... Yeah, we are doing like this, uh, planter idea. Last time. Um, what I need right now, I need to throw a bunch of this stuff away, to be honest. On the rack. Yeah. Should be alright. Uh... To make an iron farm is all you need is two villagers with jobs and name zombie. The water floor. Chambers underneath those stairs. Yeah. I do want to at some point. Um, I just haven't. My, my first attempt did not go particularly well, so I'm just holding off on it, I guess. Um. Okay, so what do we need? We need probably glass, I would think. Just stone. Uh Saying that Minecraft did something for an excuse for the last iron farm. Not really sure what you mean. Okay. So uh, the decision here, like I think, is. 
Do I want to leave this completely open or I figure out something with how to enclose it? Also, there's like this entire wall. Oh, it was a joke. Okay. Not bad. That definitely went over my head. I think it looks good open. Alright. I kind of wanted to do like glass though, maybe. Let us see, okay. Uh, so, either, like, my, my idea here is that either I do, um, like, glass all the way around with no breaks, right? Or I would put these up and have it be, like, three windows, like, here. Obviously, on one hand, that's a lot more glass that I would need. But on the other, it's like, it'd be at least different enough, I think. Oh, I think three windows makes more sense as it looks like support pillars in the corners. Yeah, like, so that's, that's the idea. For sure. Okay. And I mean, if we don't like it, we can always change it. It's not a big deal. Or I can make a slanted glass roof. Uh, I see the IP in the description. Does that mean you don't mind anyone joining? Yeah. Yeah, the, the server IP is for, like, anyone that um, joins my stream and is like, you know, I wouldn't mind joining a server. Obviously, as long as you aren't going around blowing stuff up with TNT and being a griefer. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind. I want to see you are courteous. Oh, okay. I think you mean... Yeah, so I'm playing single player at the moment. This is my single player world. Sorry. Also, I hope you're doing well, John. Hope you're having a good day. Maybe we do glass here too. Do a waterfall at the exit. Okay, that's that's an awesome idea. I that is an awesome idea. I love that. Okay, we're doing that. What if ooh dude, what if we had the waterfall coming down, right? And you had to uh, paddle through it to get to get through. So it's like kind of hidden, right? I mean, that's that sounds pretty cool to me. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get up there first. Yes, yes, yes. All right. <laughs> All right, and I got Mr. Trident user who wants to make his presence known. Well, I don't, whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. So you can leave me alone. Um, need to remove the grass patch next to the exits. Uh, 
Okay, this is a pretty precarious situation to be in with phantoms, I'm not gonna lie. Buzz off, phantoms. I'm not selling what you're buying either. Alright. So, a random block of ring in the air. You know, I really need to start packing uh, a bow and arrow for situations like this. Jeez. I can hurl those all the way up here. <laughs> Tried to hit it with the shovel. Alright, come on. Show me what you're made of. Yeah, I forgot to turn off phantoms, by the way. You couldn't tell. I'm back. He's from a... <laughs> Yeah, could do that. But then we wouldn't get any knives. Oh, I hate every knife. Every hostile one, anyway. Hurry up. Fight me. Okay. So I think we wanted it from a about here could like maybe embed it in the wall a little bit. I think that'd look better. Why did I do that? That was, oh, jeez. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, is there a... I ain't dealing with that. Uh, you should do glowstone randomly placed inside the water and the roof. Yeah, yeah, we could do that too. Maybe it would make more sense to just put it like right there. It would at least be easier than going all the way up. Did I get a trident? No, I did not. So I already have two tridents. Thinking, like I want it to look natural, but I'm trying to debate on how to do that. Uh, and then... 
I put it there and there. Make it up a water source. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I just don't. I don't know how much sense it would make to put it up here. And there's water like right there. Yeah. Don't like that to get too far. Does that look? I mean, it looks all right. I don't think it's been knocked though. I also okay. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Let's try it. Okay, no, it does work. Yeah, I think I may have to go higher up and maybe put it there as well. What was that noise? That was a trident being thrown at my head. Um, yeah. Right there. That's some range, you see that? Also, welcome to Ibo. Hope you're doing well. You're having a good Sunday. Jeez. Torons need to get fixed to their psychos. Oh, see that weave? That dunk? It went right over my head. Professional Minecraft player, by the way. Let's see. Yeah, I think I want it to be, like, right there. So at the moment, what we're trying to do is make, like, a big waterfall. Um, to kind of conceal this entrance to my base. I should definitely have a bat somewhere embedded in the mountain. That'd be pretty funny. There we go. I think that's more what I, what I was wanting. It's just like a straight down out of there. Or a knife and a fork. That'd be pretty funny too. Okay, so... There we go. We could even... Do this so I got a couple blocks left. Foxcat says, What's up, guys? What's up, Foxcat? You're doing well. Hope you had a good week. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, at the moment, we are doing some building. I'm trying to get this. Uh, I'm trying to create like a waterfall to kind of conceal the uh, other side of my base a little bit. 
That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that, Watson. That would just be me. Uh, if I did this, yeah, I, I was, I would say it's, it's generally not a very Nice thing to say to people. I don't know that that looks any better. But I kind of want to get the effect that it's, um, like flowing straight down, if that makes sense. is a lot of dealing with water which is uh not terribly interesting <laughs> there we go Come, people think British rap is yo. I have a spot of tea. And the queen died. Um, I, I think that's just like general stereotypes, I guess. And everybody has them, obviously. Okay, opinions. You think that looks a lot nicer, right? Instead of it kind of flowing out, it's like just straight down. Like, I like it a lot better, personally. But I, I would like to hear your opinions on it. So then I could punch out that block there. Oh, yeah. Then maybe... Let's... Let me get even... This is like building with water. I don't know that I've ever done this, actually. It's kind of interesting. There we go. The zombie's starting to kind of get on my nerves. I don't know where it is, though. Go, zombie! There you are. Whoa, what, what is going on? Why are there three creepers? Oh! Alright, that that was a mistake. Guys, I didn't do it on purpose. I promise I didn't do it on purpose. I'm being chased by the horde. Okay, jeez. Nah, you ain't getting me this time. Not today. Oh, all right. Nothing like a little stress, you know.
I don't know where they went. Oh, there's still one. Okay. Uh, Alright. So. I think I want to block that off. Up there. It's just it's not flying out. I guess that's fine. Like that. Moths. <laughs> yeah. They are everywhere. No question. All right, there we go. Now I kind of want to go left a little bit. Right here. That. I might just be able to um, get it from the water level now, so I don't have to build up, hopefully. Yeah. Just wanna put that there. And there we go. A big waterfall. What do we think? I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more on the right there. Just to kind of like completely conceal it. There we go. Now we go. I can say that's, that's I think that's a first for me in Minecraft. Building a waterfall to conceal a part of your base. That's pretty neat though, isn't it? Very cool, very cool. And it's very easy. I was thinking it might be difficult to to go through, but it's not. So I think the, the the next thing on my checklist might be to put some fences up here so I don't repeat the uh, me falling down into the creeper mess. Uh, KFC. Oh, I'm a bumblebee. I'm a bumblebee who likes to eat KFC. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So I think yeah, glowstone in the water, or those like prismarine lanterns would look really nice as well. It also kind of mark the path a little bit, but let me, uh, I should still have some fences somewhere. Let me see if I can go find them. I just don't want to have to go build more if I can just take some out of my storage, you know. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I did remember The fridge has sentience, he has a brain.
I don't know what I'm gonna do with the roof. I'd say that's one of the things I'm kind of struggling with at the moment. There we go. Now, I hopefully will not repeat what I did. Um, but then I'd also probably like blast panes here, there. So I think what we're gonna have to go do is uh, take out some squid. Before I do that, though, it's my time. So. Watch them with a wall of emoji. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Fox cat. Why? Couldn't have said it better myself. Just what? Yeah, I don't think I have any uh, dye left. Okay. I have orange and red. That is not the color I need. I think sex. Okay, um, no one told me you had a doggo? Oh yeah, dude, I, if you want to help me name him, Ibo, my dog still does not have a name. I, uh, the goodest of boys, yeah, I, they don't have a name. We got Milo as a recommendation. Do you have any other suggestions? Doesn't look like any other squid spawned. It's a bunch of salmon. Ah. Also, let me get rid of this snowflake. Alright. Alright, we got snowflake and uh, Milo. I guess it would depend on like... Snowflake would definitely be like a better girl dog name. Milo... Boy dog, I guess. But we have no way of knowing. Although maybe we could just name the... Maybe we could just name the boy Snowflake. That's kind of funny. Um, here. Hmm. What do we need? It's... I kind of do like Milo, to be honest. Not that Snowflake in any way is a bad name. I just... Have any of you ever seen the, uh... Old um, Disney movie Atlantis. 
Okay, so that's what it, the main character's name is Milo, and that's, that's yeah, I love that movie, so. If you haven't seen the movie, it is very good. Um, would recommend. Alright, I got a few. Sucks. Not many, but enough, you know. Not a ton. But hopefully we get something done. My RL dog is my love. Okay. That makes sense. It's a good name for a dog. How long have you had your dog? Uh, awesome. There we go. Now I will not. Oops! Fall over the edge. Yeah. I kind of want to make that right there a solid window. I think. Uh, a year now. Got him because their last one died. I'm sorry to hear that. You have to, uh, Fox Cat has two dogs named Sparky and Thor. Thor is a cool name for a dog. Honestly, what kind of dogs do you have? Um, Foxcat and Watson. So, Iba, do you have any pets? Maybe a hamster, goldfish. I don't know. No, no, you don't. Okay. You ever thought about getting a pet? Is that like, or are you just not about it? Not your thing? I obviously, you know, completely understandable if it isn't. Um, what if I did like. Another window. Huh. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. Well, I have pet fur allergies. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's that's a pretty good reason. That is a pretty good reason. Um, yeah, I think, I feel like there's some animal that I am allergic to, but I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Allergies are weird, you know? Very strange thing. Like, certain things I feel like make sense to be allergic to, but others don't. Like, I have a cousin who's allergic to grass. Like, grass. I'm just like, what? How is that a thing? <laughs> you know? Um, 
Uh, the only reason why I wouldn't get a pet is because you have to go through... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I get it. Uh, my grandparents are allergic to cats and I am allergic to dogs. Well, that's a shame. Hmm. Uh, so not pollen, but straight grass. Yes. Like, like green grass. Like, like, uh, the grass you find outside. I, I don't know if it's, like, a particular type of grass, right? Because, obviously, there are many, but I remember he was allergic to grass. Kind of hard to forget that one. Um, yeah. So where are you from, Ivo? Um, I don't think I asked that. And if I did, I apologize. But I, I kind of like to get a, uh, an understanding of where people are located. I seem to have quite a few European viewers, which is interesting. Uh, I'm from Chicago, sweet. Chicago. The Windy City. Never been personally. But, um... Uh, 300, 300, 300. Oh, shit. Did I hit 300 subs? Let's go, dude. Let's go. Uh, I believe most cases of grass allergy is from when cut grass releases something in the air. Interesting. Okay. Kind of haste. Yeah. Um, so have you lived in Chicago your whole life, Ivo? Or did you move there? I don't know what I should do with this. Maybe maybe I just put fences here for the time. time I can place fences. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna say this once. You know IBO stands for Artificial Intelligence for Robot, right? No. I did not know that. So it's an acronym. So. Would you prefer that I refer to you as Ibo? Or is there a different name that you would rather I call you by? Uh, no, we moved to Arizona. Okay, so, so you're from Chicago, but you're living in Arizona, okay, or is it the other way around? Uh-oh, no, 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 can't have you come in here. I'm really tired today, I'm worried. My dad had to go to the hospital or emergency room today. I'm sorry to hear that, jeez. Um, you have my thoughts and prayers. I hope he pulls through whatever he's dealing with. I was some sort of robotic dog that was selling in the 90s and still sells to this day. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I think I know what you're talking about. I just didn't know the name. Or I didn't remember the name. Yeah, I think I think I know what you're talking about though. 
But yeah, my heart goes out to you. Um, I really hope. Really hope it's nothing too serious. So do you have anything you'd like to see me do? Or are you fine with me? Just building, you know? I, if there's like anything particular you can think of that you'd like me to do, I, I'll do it. like me to stay here and build or you like me to go to the nether or uh, go exploring or you know just, uh, whatever you can think of let me know I think it's starting to come along a little bit. But obviously there's the issue of mobs dropping in on top of me, but uh work on under the stairs. Yeah. You know what would be cool to put here actually. Do like a like a pool, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. I don't like that idea. I'm fine. Okay. Well, hi. Uh, change your mind. Do not hesitate to let me know. Got our friend looking at us. I think a pool could be a cool addition here though. Have it kind of like almost looking out. That's right. Foxcat wants me to go to the nether. We could do more nether stuff. I'm not against it, you know? I'm trying to figure out like what dimensions I would want for this. I think I... Why do cows have hooves and not feet? They lack toes. But a good one. Yes, yeah, so I think what what I'll do is probably have this be a drop down. So this um yeah okay. we'll do this we could make like this part the deep end I guess. <laughs> All 
All right, we'll... We'll explore a little bit from the nether, I guess. But before I do that, since I'm going to the nether, I know, um, you know, or a good chance, good chance, pretty uh, decent chance even, that uh, all of my stuff gets burned. So, do I have anything that I would rather not use? That's cobblestone. Uh, my phone is getting on my nerve because it's acting out today. The battery is dying fast. Um, do you have like a bunch of tabs open by chance? Or is it just that uh, watching a stream eats up that much in the way of resources? Cheap chargers, I get it. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Hey, if it works, it works, right? this brick. That's probably something I'd want to keep. Uh, lava gives you PTSD? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, no worries. No worries. <sighs> yeah, lava gives me PTSD too. starting to come along a little bit. You can kind of see trees. No, I think um, I think Foxcat was talking about what was causing his phone. <clears throat> his uh, phone's batteries. So lose charge so quickly. Alright. Let's see. Where are we gonna go? Okay, let's up the render distance a little bit. Just a bunch of random blocks. Uh, me just gonna go AFK for a little bit. Uh, be right back. Yeah, no worries. Take your time. Take your time. Absolutely no rush. I don't know. Have I ever. I feel like I have been down this way before. When I went up and around. Then there's this fellow. Okay, which direction have I not explored? Uh, did I build that? Um, if you mean this, uh, little structure that surrounds my, um, portal, yes. Yeah, I did build it. Just so that there's a lot of gas spawn here. And I was just like, I'm tired of getting, having gas shoot me the second I step out of the portal, and, like... You know, there's obviously the chance that they destroy my portal, and if I if I don't have flint and steel, then I'm really, uh, really in for a hurting, you know? Yeah. Then it gets really difficult to get back. Get the glowstone that we wanted. Let's think of it. Mind doing that. Now, this is not for the faint hearted.
Probably should have brought my. Uh... I'll still touch the other thing. <laughs> Those living cannons are the worst. <laughs> yeah. A pretty funny way to word them, but I mean, that's. That's what they are. They they make a bunch of noise and then they shoot explosives at you. Casts are the worst. Yeah. The only reason I would put phantoms over gas is because at least there's like kind of a way to avoid gas, you know? Like, uh, just, at least they're not a mob in the overworld, right? Then, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, get them out of here. Uh, PS5 loading times. Compared to the PS4 are insane. Insanely fast? Or... I mean, I would hope it's fast. Fast, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think, like, what direction I haven't really gone before, you know? Uh, playing New York. 30 minute long race. Taking you from New York to San Francisco. Okay, so you're you're playing the crew then, right? I don't, th I don't think there's another game that that would make sense, right? Ah, yes, Mr. Fridge. Welcome in, Mystic. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hope you're having a good day, as always. Yeah, you were playing the crew? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, I, just, I don't know what other game that would have made sense. Okay. That... Uh, Zombie pigment just vanished. I, I don't know if anyone else saw that. I don't want to deal with any, uh, any gas. I'm good. That was a mistake. Uh, once my iPad crashed and restarted, I didn't even have any files open. Yeah, I've been there with, uh... My computer before. <laughs> so I understand. It's cooking on Minecraft. Um, I'm just in the nether. I accidentally aggroed an Enderman. Just waiting for it to uh, inevitably teleport on top of me. There you are. I 
Can I not figure out how to get up? Uh, Enderman are the worst. Sometimes really the worst. Yeah, I, this one is not particularly smart. Yeah. Really struggling. You could have just done that. This is three blocks high, my man. Die, Enderman, die. Uh. Yeah. Usually I try not to aggro them, but that one, like, just happened to be right in my field of view, you know? Like, I was, like, trying to peer down to see it was down there, and it was just an Enderman looking at me. Oh, well, here we go. The deal with fighting an Enderman. I don't know what I've been over here before. I'm trying to find a way down as soon as I find out. I wouldn't say that's the Enderman's fault for looking at you. Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of like timing, you know? I don't necessarily think it was either of ours our fault. I, I guess it was, if we were going to pin the blame on anyone, it'd probably be my fault, right? Uh, because how many how many steves do mine or endermen typically encounter in the nether? Not many, I would, I would imagine. Okay. Uh, so to get back up. Gonna be here. Place a couple of torches so that's I remember. Well no, the Enderman wanted to look at you. Look at this. He's stuck on a floating island. For better or worse, I guess. Oh god, is there one behind you? Enderman? I, I don't believe so. I don't hear any. Enderman, thankfully. You know what? Don't even look. It's honestly a good thought. Good, good line of thought. Um, it can't hurt us if we don't even know it's there, right? That's a sus pig. Very sus. Very suspicious. Like, what is it doing? Yeah, good luck with that one, pal. I, I don't... I don't think that's gonna work. For some, for some reason, I don't think that's gonna work. It was behind you for, like, a few minutes ago. I heard it. I'm not lying. I believe you. I believe you. I I didn't hear it personally. Clearly I didn't hear it. Otherwise it probably would have turned around. Really know what this biome has to offer me. What are these? Nothing. Okay, cool. That is a ton of glowstone. I didn't did not see that.
Foxcat says okay. Okay, indeed. Okay, indeed. Ah, hog one. Deal with that. Yes, sir. Oh, you can climb these. Okay. That's interesting. Next, we go to decorate our base, am I right? This is so much glowstone. Cast glowstone. This is, I think, the most glowstone I have ever seen in one location. Sorry I'm not talking, let's just race as long. Yeah, no worries. didn't even know that was an interaction so piglins attack hoglins really it's interesting okay i realistically i don't need all of this um only if they attack you well, so the there were a couple piglins that were attacking a hoglin, and I I hadn't seen that before, so kind of surprised. I don't know if that's like a typical thing. Like obviously, you know, with wolves, they attack sheep. Um. Uh, feels like, oh, whoa, land in my room. Just hanging out with my grandparents, sits downstairs with my auntie. Spending some family time, man. Always good. Always good. Let's see. Came from this direction. Right. I'm gonna get up this tree. I'm sure people have done it, but uh, is it like a thing to do? Dude, you are so invincible. <laughs> I would I wouldn't say that. I, I think uh I think Watson would probably beg the differ. <laughs> but I appreciate the compliment. I do. I think I want to take this glowstone back. Oh, there's an enderman. They, they really do just show up everywhere. Awesome. 
No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Y'all can leave me be. That is way more hoglin or piglins than I bargained for. You can't have my glowstone. It's mine. I used to have an old iPhone until it got corrupted. Yeah, I had a, I had an iPhone for a long time, uh, as well. Um, I had to give it to my brother though. He see, needed a new phone, so or needed a phone, I should say, not a, not a new phone. So I, I have a. What is this? Galaxy S9 right now? Samsung? Yeah, it's your glowstone. Don't let it out of your sight. My eyes are on the glowstone. All of it. That gas sounds so close, though. Ah. Yeah, let's, uh... <laughs> Let's not deal with that. Let's, uh... Let's leave the gas around, shall we? Oh, those leaves haven't despawned. Let's go take care of that as well. Now we have some bolster. So the idea was to um, put these glowstone blocks like down in the water, uh, so they'd illuminate path. Well, not path, but um, river. I guess. I hesitate to call it a river, but. I don't know what else to call it. I don't want it on this side only as well. I don't know that I want to get on both sides of the waterfall. Uh, yeah, I had to get the phone reset, but unfortunately I have a YouTube channel on that phone, and that, that's really special. And in fact, it had my first YouTube channel. Well, that's a bummer. Um, do you have any way to recover it? I'm assu um, assuming you don't. I uh, remember like the information for it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Then it might be difficult. Um. If you knew what email it was associated with, so if you knew like what email you used to log in with it, then you. You'd probably be able to get it back. Dude, I'm about to lose it on my sister. She will not leave me alone for one second. Yeah. Siblings, uh, you know. They, uh... They can certainly get on your nerves. 
I can attest to that. Maybe we put some glowstone here as well. I mean, this is like really deep, so... I don't know if it's gonna have the same effect. Maybe at least try like one block and see. <sighs> yeah, I don't know that I like that as much. Obviously, the biggest part of it is you want to be able to see it. You're really, not going to be able to see it in water that deep, are you? Let me go ahead and get rid of these leaves. Did not despawn. There we go. Uh, well, I can still watch it. I just look it up. It had all the fun stuff that I had on there. Uh, well, I don't know how to recover YouTube accounts uh or recover the youtube channel i've looked at all the youtube accounts but never found it okay i see what you're saying so you you don't know like um i guess what it's associated with like what a, what account it's associated with Yeah, I, that could be pretty difficult. There might be a way to contact YouTube support, though. I mean, YouTube support's pretty infam infamous for being not very good. My pack is killing me. Uh, try and give it a good stretch, you know? See if that helps. The uh, project to reshape this part of the hill is coming along pretty well, I think. Once all of these soccer trees bloom, I think... I think it will look very nice. I'm doing that right now. Okay. Guess it's, guess it's not helping too much then. So one block just, just disappeared. I don't want to put this one closer. Yeah, right there. That should be enough space. Ah, uh, it's working a little bit. Okay. I guess it working a little bit's better than nothing at all. Oh, whoops. That was a mistake. Oops. There's a block of, uh, glowstone, unfortunately. There we go. 
I forgot to turn off my super smelter as well. I had plans to build a sugarcane farm or a bamboo farm, and I just completely forgot. So, maybe I'll have to save that for next stream. Hmm. Dang, my PS3 just fell. No. I hope it's hope it's all right. Uh, I guess I'll put it. Oh. I might actually use glowstone for something else. Yeah, it's still in one piece. Well, that's good. Thank good that it didn't break. Uh, well, we're, oh, yeah, welcome in Herrera, hope you're doing well, my friend, hope you're having a good day, just walking home right, gotcha, I guess, um, maybe I could put the, uh, trigger cam farm here. Maybe it would make more sense to put it in the bottom floor. It does work, but it doesn't have the controls. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty important to have, no doubt. Uh, the young lady just did a hard stop to see a picture of the sky and almost made me run into her. Okay. Look, man, let people appreciate nature, you know? Um... Oh, I live in the city. Okay, well, fair enough. Why is my chair so squeaky? Um, could be a number of things. Could be a number of things. Um, tell you what I'm. I don't want to do. Oh, let me see the dog go. Or... Gotcha, gotcha. Here is the doggo. Named Milo. Well, that was rude. I think a squirt just died. Look at this. Look at these two stooges. Oh, they can still hit you in the boat. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. Dang, you stupid water zombies. 
Yeah, they, uh, they kind of do their own thing. Yeah, well, until you decide to jump in the water, you know. Um. I still need to, like, actually work on this part of the base, but... I don't know, it's just, it's a lot of mining, and I just put it off and put it off and put it off. Actually, sure, though, it looks like. Um, uh, yeah, if you ever wanted, like, a really simple uh, sheep shearing system, um, you can do this where it's, like, uh, two hoppers with a pressure plate. Okay, it doesn't work all the time, but <laughs> you get the idea. And then in the dispenser you put shears, so I'm going to inevitably come to this corner and step on it. I get sheared. Okay, well. You get the idea. <laughs> uh, I just beat it after 31 minutes. Well, there you go. Heck yeah. Um... I got an old camera from the 80s or something in my room. It doesn't have a have the battery, but I hope we can get it running soon. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about cameras, to be honest. Like, if we're talking about... Um, like, photo cameras? Right. Video cameras of better knowledge of but... man you should do a Baldur's Gate stream wink wink uh maybe maybe in the future I don't know uh at the moment it looks like I'm gonna be doing a Warframe stream um sometime soon so for those of you that voted for Warframe you have that to look forward to um, it's one of those cameras that record stuff. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I think, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight, everyone. Oh, my computer is Japanese. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, yeah, they're a bit tired. Should do a stream for both Sub uh, Subnautica and Warframe, so everyone's happy. I do still want to play Subnautica. I do. I think it'd be fun. Um, lead to a lot of shenanigans, I'm sure. Warframe would be a lot more educational, I think, whereas Subnautica would be uh, me bumbling around. So more, more of what you're used to, I would say. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Um, I had a lot of fun as I always do, and I hope you did as well. Uh, for me, this is the best part of having a YouTube channel is uh, being able to interact like one on one with all of you. It's it's my favorite part of it all. So. As always, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and this is the part of the stream where I go through and I thank everybody individually who showed up and chatted with me throughout the stream. So I just want to give a big thank you to Meta, as always, for being my, my, my big moderator man, you know. <laughs> um, 
Thank you to Watson, as always. Thank you to Cam. Again, thank you to Bob the Builder. Thank you to Rich. Thank you to John Early. Big thank you. Huge thank you to Ivo. Um, huge thank you to Fox Cats. Um, and a big thank you to Mystic and Herrera as well. Um, uh, how, how many streams have I been in now? I, it's a good question. It's a lot of them. I know that. More than double digits for sure. Um, so yeah, I just want to, yeah, um, again, uh, we'll be back same time next week. Ivo, my heart goes out to you and your situation. I hope, I hope it improves. I really do. Um, so. Yeah, I be back same time next week, and I look forward to those of you that uh, have the opportunity to join me. Um, yeah, and as I always say, folks, as I always say, until next time. Take it easy, my friends.